So in this video, I'm demonstrating how we can use absolutely no code and just natural language to program an entire retro arcade video game. So we're going to start off by building the game of Missile Command. And it starts pretty simple enough. You just ask it what you want it to build, and it writes out all of the requirement specifications for your game. Now this tool you're looking at right here is a custom GPT for ChatGPT+. And the great thing about this is you're not gonna have to download any additional software, configure or install Python, clone any GitHubs, none of this mumbo jumbo. Everything that you're gonna need is just gonna be handled right here within your chat. It's gonna provide you links to play test every build of your game right inside of your web browser. So as you see right here, here's our very first build of Missile Command. And it's not perfect, right? Uh, the missiles aren't exploding, so I'm gonna take a couple of screenshots. The advantage here is that we have vision multimodal support in GPT-4 now. So I can actually attach these screenshots and upload them directly to ChatGPT and then just start describing what is wrong, what's right, what's wrong, what needs to be in, uh, changed and improved. And that's what I'm gonna be doing right here. So I've just got done describing three changes that I'd like the AI to make for me. First is that the player missiles should explode when they reach the destination of the touch input. And the second is that when enemy missiles collide with those explosions, it should destroy them and increment the score by 10 points. Now it looks like the AI successfully implemented in our explosions and the destruction of enemy missiles, but it forgot about the scoreboard. So I'm going to remind it that we need to implement the scoreboard and that the score should increase by 10 points for every time we destroy an enemy missile. Um, while we're at it, we'll go ahead and add like a start screen because I think the game shouldn't just start and throw the player into the action right away. And then the lastly on this step, we can also add in a maybe a damage uh, health system for our uh, player cannons, our player turrets. So that way every time a missile strikes it, it'll take on more damage gradually and then ultimately destroy our turret entirely. Now here you get a glimpse into how the AI's mind is working, how it's taking things step by step, incrementally building up the game, and doing an iterative design process in collaboration with the back-end AI agents that are helping to keep the game and the game development progress on track. And there you have it. Here's our final build of the game. As you can see, our player missiles are exploding properly when they reach their destination. They're destroying enemy missiles. We're getting 10 points every time, and our turrets are in fact taking damage.